Welcome friends in the presentation of surface areas of combination of solids. Here uh, in this uh, video onward, we'll be talking about many different types of the geometrical solids like a sphere, hemisphere, cone, you know, cuboid, cube and many more, uh, cylinder and many more, you know, and we'll be combining them and the combined figures, surface areas we'll be trying out to, to find out and related to that uh, menstruational problem we'll be solving. Right. So here I have the very first question, and the question is saying, Rasid. It's a name of a boy. All right. Rasid got a playing top. Here is in the figure, you know, a top that is to swing, you know, with the help of a rope. I hope you have played in that childhood. Uh, that is also called Latu. It's in Hindi, you know. And as a birthday present, he got this uh, shape of object, playing object, in his birthday present, as a birthday present, which surprisingly had no color. Okay, it was colorless. Oh my God. <laughs> Bothering it without color, not attractive. Uh, he wanted to color it with his cadence. Okay, he wants to color it. The top is uh, shaped like a cone surmounted by an hemisphere. Yep, here is the cone, and that is surmounted by the uh, by the by the hemisphere. The entire top is five centimeter height. So here you're looking. The total height of the top is five centimeter, and the diameter of the top is three point five centimeter. Okay, so the diameter of this top is 3.5 so it means the radius will be 3.5 divided by 2 you know 3.5 divided by 2 that will be the radius and same will be here 3.5 divided by 2 all right so uh, and similarly you know this height also will be the radius this will be also 3.5 divided by 2 centimeter okay uh, okay so find the area he has to color okay so what is the area he need to color up here so to color, you know, first we need to find out the total area of the top of this top, you know, and this is actually made by the two solid figures. And the first solid figure is here, uh, this this hemisphere, the top up portion, you know, just like a half, uh, you know, the half hemisphere. I mean, just like a ball, you know, ball eating ball in which you put the f uh, food. I mean, you eat the noodle or anything, whatever you put and you eat, just like that ball it is, you know, at the top and the below is just like your birthday hat i mean the cone all right just like the ice cream cone so we need to find out the area the surface area of this hemisphere first and then we need to find out the surface area of this uh this this uh cone and then we'll be adding up the su surface areas of this both uh, hemisphere as well as the cone and that will be the total area of this top and once we get the area of this total top we will get the area which we need to color and that's the solution of our answer you know we need to we need to find out the area that we need to color up so first uh, total uh, area to be colored all right so what are the area that we need to color first we need to color the surface area you know of the hemisphere and that should be curved surface area because in the intersection it may be hollow or whatever so just we need the color uh, curve surface area of of hemisphere and then plus uh, the curved surface area of this cone all right because uh, we don't need, I mean, this section will be, you know, it's, it will be something like this, and you know, it is made with something like this. Like initially, we had a cone, all right. Let's say we had a cone. This was our cone, all right. So uh, we just need to find out the area of the soft, uh, of this uh, outer region, you know, just the outer region, and that's our curved surface area, all right. We need just this much. So that's our curved surface area of cone. All right, and what is hemisphere? Hemisphere actually we are going to surmount over it, you know, the hemisphere, uh, a ball like structure we are going to put in over it. So that's just going to, just like you know, uh, you put the chocolates or any any kind of ice cream in the cone above, above which you know. Uh, so this is the eating portion. Let's say this is the ice cream. Let's say this is the ice cream, ice cream. So this is the ice cream that you eat actually. So. A scoop of ice cream you know it's like let's say it's like a, a hemisphere just so we need to find out just upper portion you know uh, actually um, my English is poor to explain this thing well uh, this is the the upper reason we need to find out because inside we didn't have to find out the area because that is attached with the with the circular face of the cone right circular face of the cone and the circular face of the hemisphere has been attached to each other so we don't have to find out this portion so just we need to find out the uh, curve surface area of this hemisphere and so does the curve surface area of the cone of cone all right and that together will give us the 
uh, total area we need to find out curve surface area of the hemisphere as well as the curve surface area of the cone. So let's go further. And you know what is the curve surface area of a hemisphere? Ah, you know you very well. You know because the if we have a let's say a sphere, right? So in a total sphere, the surface area of the total sphere is four pi r square. So if you make it, you'll get a he hemisphere. You know, you'll get a hemisphere. So so this hemisphere's surface area will be definitely 4 pi r squared divided by 2. It's 2 pi r squared. So here, when I'm writing 2 pi r squared, you need to understand this is just a curve surface area, right? Keep in mind, curve surface area, because hemisphere surface area is 3 pi r squared. How also you see? See, the complete circles, uh, spherical is 4 pi r squared. So if I'm just drawing half of that, of, if I'm just drawing half of that, then definitely it is 2 pi r squared. Yes, this is 2 pi r squared. But my dear friend, when you cut a sphere, let's say from here you're cutting, while cutting, you know, you'll get a circle here, a kind of circle here, all right? So this is 2 pi square, the white section is 2 pi square, and this upper red portion. This is also in circles, and this circle's area is pi r square. So total, total uh, uh, surface area of a hemisphere is 2 pi r square plus pi r square, that's 3 pi r square, that's why the surface area of the hemisphere in total is 3 pi r square but the curved surface area of the hemisphere is just 2 pi r square while taking curved surface area we don't count this section we, we neglect this section you know and that time we will just get the half, half hemisphere just, just a half, half hemisphere we used to have that time it is to be hollow alright now it's hollow so we are just now counting this, uh, this half of the hemisphere that's why this is 2 pi r square all right so our total surface area is going to be curve surface area of hemisphere that is 2 pi r square plus csa curve surface area of the cone that's actually pi r l I, I hope you are remembering all the formula all right pi r l and now let me tell you what is this l l is actually the slanted height you know this height so we are not given this slanted height so we need to find out this height you know to find out this height, I have a trick. Let me show you here. See, the total length is 5 centimeters. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to extend this line till here. Let me extend this, okay? So just in the case of cone, if you see, all right, this is the total height, all right? This is the total height of the cone, which I'm just counting from this region to this region, all right? This is H. So total is 5 centimeter, and this is 3.5 divided by 2. So this H is going to be this h is going to be uh, 5 centimeter minus 3.5 divided by 2 so it's going to be 10 minus 3.5 divided by 2 so it's going to be now 6.5 divided by 2 3.25 centimeter so you got the height and you know already the radius that is 3.5 divided by 2 so this is a right angle triangle you know and in right angle triangle you know in every right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse that is square of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the square of the perpendicular I mean this opposite and the base plus base that is r square all right and that's equals to now h square that is 3.25 square and radius is 3.5 divided by 2 that's 1.75 square so further l square is going to be 3.25 let me do from this uh, calculator so 3.5 square uh, plus uh, 1.75 1.75 square this together is going to be 13.625 13.625 so from the calculator I'm doing the under root of this all right that will be faster you know if I'm going to do manually it's gonna be it will take a lot of time and if you don't know how to find out the manually the square root of then please feel free to comment below this video I'll, I'll make another video to find out the square root of uh, any number all right so we got square root of uh, this 13.625 equals to 3.69 all right 3.69 is our slanted height so now we let's find out everything you know pi we know so let's take outside pi so it's 2 r square plus l and pi the question is saying we need to take 22 over 7 22 over 7 and 2 and r is our 3.5 by 2 that is 1.75 square it's multiplication right and then plus l and l we recently find out 3.69 3.69 so all together 22 divided by 7 
And now here, let me do <coughs> it's uh, 1.75 squared times 2. From the calculator, it's now 6.125 plus 3.69. Let me add plus 3.69. It's 9. 9.815 divided by 7 into 22. All right. Divided by 7. So it's going to be 30.847, all right? 30.847 centimeter square. So this much area, Rasid has to paint, all right? So this is the total uh, total surface area of this top, and this much area he need to paint, all right? This is how we need to find out uh, the solution of the questions in which the two or more than two solid figures have combined each other, combined to each other, and we need to find out the area, all right? So we have to add each and every point. Most of the time, while the solids combine, we have to use the uh, curve surface area. Maximum time we need to use curve surface area, but it does not mean that every time we need to use the curve surface area. Sometime we may have to use the complete surface uh, surface area. But it all depends on the how we are understanding the question. So we're gonna uh, take a look on each and every tap of the question. This will definitely help us to to uh, to learn more and more about the combination of the solids and the surface area and later we're going to talk about the volume of the uh, combination of the solids all right see you in the next video goodbye